we have forgotten the name of our power or stretch out our hands to a strange power or God shall yeah, not the more niggas man <laughs> no, I, I, I gotta pray man it's, it's uh, 6 30, 3 o'clock I gotta pray man I gotta bring up the right power I gotta get down alright Allah the jail God man. you uh you raise your hands up or, or you go to uh you go to a uh, Catholic church and put your hands in this fashion which yeah. is a demonic fashion um, Pisces. Um, Pisces. what is it ten, um, ten hell mother marys yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll be like in Psalms 44 and 20 it says if we have forgotten the name of our God or stretched out our hands to a strange God, shall not the Most High search us out? For he knoweth the secrets of the heart. Yea, they forsake, uh, yea, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Awake, awake, why sleepest thou, O Lord? Arise, cast, uh, cast us not off forever. Beautiful. Can I, can I get this real quick? Just to back you up also. Hey, brothers, put your phones on silent. Um, this is um, Zechariah chapter 11, verse 5. Whose possessors slay them. You got it? Yeah, no, bring it up. Bring it up. Bring it up. Brother. Yeah, bring it up. That's the spirit. Yeah, that's just the spirit. Because you were holding it. I was holding it. I, I have a quick precept on what you're saying about yeah. the white man. Esau being the sword of the Heavenly Father. Yeah. Psalm 17 and 13. Arise, O Lord, um, uh, to disappoint him. Uh, cast him down, um, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Mm, yep. and, um, it's, and it's funny how Esau's blessing was the sword. So he's that deadly force, man. He's that he's that evil that the Most High just created, man. Perfect. You know? And then what was his blessing? The sword. Yep. That's right. From Cain down to Esau. Yep. From, mm -hmm. from men which are thy hand, O Lord, from men of the world which have their portion in this life, and whose belly thou fillest with thy hid treasures. They are full of children, and leave the rest of their substance to their babes. Hey, you see, you just read that part. It says, can you read just up a little bit more again? Where From it's... men which are thy no. hand. Uh, we're, it? we're saying the blessing. They're filled. Yes, yes. Yeah. From yeah. men which are thy hand, O Lord. Yep. Yeah. From men of the world, yep. which have their portion in yeah. this life. Yeah, which have their portion in this life. There's an article on the uh, on the net, man. I printed it out. I just forgot to bring it. Man, it's beautiful that you brought that up. And I was going through it. Toronto, gentrification in Toronto is an epidemic. It's an epidemic. And this is journalists in New York that are talking about Toronto. They said when you come to Toronto, all you have to do is look up to your skyline and all you see is cranes. Yep. Cranes, cranes, crane, crane, crane. You know why? Toronto is just building condos everywhere. You know what that means for you niggas? You got to move. You got to move somewhere else. Wherever they're building, that used to be a ghetto. Niggas got to move. The elders brought it out, and man, it's widespread, man. Gentrification, man. And that's what you stupid niggas do, man. You you claim a neighborhood, which it's not your neighborhood, man. And 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 this and the and the territory of it is is is, is bullshit. Period, man. It's Con. not even. It's nothing, you know. And at the end of the day, you rent that 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 spot, you know. Like the brother saying, it's 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 um. What's the word? It's subject to being demolished, man. <laughs> all right? It's subject to being demolished. All right? All your neighborhoods, man. Yep. All right? And, he, and that's what Esau's doing. He's demolishing your yeah. neighborhood. So where, where, where do you have to go? You know? Like that, uh, they did it in uh, New Orleans, man, where uh, mm. see murders from uh, Third Ward. Third Ward. A lot, of, a lot of dudes got kicked out, and then they had to move to their enemy's territory, and that was causing a lot of, a lot of strife. Exactly. You know, you were claiming one neighborhood they. And then uh, you're just in the next neighborhood, but now you gotta live there. You have to. Some niggas have tattoos saying "fuck that neighborhood," but now you're living in their Cut. neighborhood. It's you like know? that in Chicago. They call it Chirac. Yeah. Because they had all these projects, and then now the they tore green. some of these. Yeah. Yeah, like that project where you just mentioned, they tore some of them down. Jake is scattered everywhere. Yeah. And you know. Show you who has the power, man. Who has the power, man? The Edomites. They, they, they yeah. just move you niggas like nothing, man. That's right, man. And <laughs> uh, uh, Howard was explaining this last week after camp that um, 
like certain condos, you have either my paying five hundred dollars for rent. Yep. So go to the ghetto, a Jake a Jake might have to pay fucking twelve hundred dollars yep. for a one bedroom. Yep. And then a fucking cracker will have like a cracker or these dirty heathens will have a, a condo, they're paying five hundred dollars and they have a two bedroom, yep. hardwood floor, yep. jacuzzi. Yep. Open fucking stand-up shower, all yeah. kinds of shit. <laughs> you don't cut you over there, that over in North Regent area there, those new buildings, all Amites and all Elam over there. No Jakes, they, one and two Jake they put there, man. Exactly. Jake used to live, drive them all over east, west, north and south. Exactly. If, I, if I got this, most of these uh, apartments out here too, even, even back, back home, they're turning all these apartments into condos. Yeah. So they're kicking, you know, pe 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 people who are paying like $800 mm -hmm. a month you know, and you know they're they're looking for people to buy the unit instead. And you exactly. know, they, they, they can't get no loan from the bank and buy that. Exactly. You know? They're doing a cheap rental, yeah. kicking Jake out. Exactly. I ain't even spending money like. And that, that. shows exactly. you're like cattle, man, because you can move cattle around where you want and yeah. put them here. Awesome. You, you, awesome. you don't like that. Yes. You don't like that land. You can put them in this <laughs> fence. You know? that's, that's what you think is that, man. Really and, and it's hard times out here for people. It's yeah. hard for it's hard for regular people to find jobs, especially Jake. You have to work for fucking, fucking barely minimum wage, you know. So yep. it's hard for people to pay rent. The East are jacking up the rent on your ass. Jake right. get more layoff than any other nation. That's yeah. how your first word. I got a precept, um, Deuteronomy chapter twenty and sixty four. It says, "And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there shalt thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone." And among these nations shall thou find no ease, neither shall thy soul or thy feet have rest. But the Lord shall give thee a trembling heart, a failing of eyes, and sore of mind. You should read 43. Read 43 and then 43. Yeah. Because in this society, Jake's man, you have no uh, ease, man. You're all you're stressed out. And then hence you got high cholesterol, high blood pressure after that. You got uh, bad hearts, diabetes, all these diseases, man. That's in the curses, man. So if you read Deuteronomy 28, you'll find out who the true Israelites are. It's not those gutter rats, the so-called Jews. They live amazing, man. All right? We go to uh, Bayview, go to... Uh, uh, Royal York. Uh, uh, Royal York, go to Forest Hill, man. They live amazing. They live lavish, man. They got... They, hey, man, they got servants. These crackers, they live above... Um, they live on condos above stores, nice grocery stores. Expensive ones, they get a uh, uh, food delivered to them. They got uh, 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 maids coming to them. Everything, man. It's 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 their kingdom, basically. Exactly. So <clears throat> like we were talking about it. It's in a sugar-coated fashion. It's not like hey, if you watch Spartacus, like yeah, you're my slave, this and that, do this. It it like I was saying before, it's like a more sugar-coated fashion. But it's more on paper, like yeah, okay, yeah, this is your employee number, this and that. The brother said uh, on the news. Remember, you heard. About uh, if you if, if, you, if you're an employee, yeah. just a re regular laborer, you're a slave, basically. Yeah, according to uh, I think employees. it's uh, like the UN or something like that. Under the UN, that if you're an employee, that you're a slave. So yeah. they brought it out. Yeah. They brought out what we already knew. Yeah. Yeah, that's beautiful, man. It's a beautiful thing. And then um, if you want to see the the the, um, the basically the um, the height of a nation. I won't say the height, but if you want to see where a nation is, man, check out where their women are. Yeah. Check out where their women are, man. Mm. Our women are nowhere near Any where we should be in order. That's why we're not in order. These, the, the, the people who we're talking about, the reason why they live at ease, man, they might go to work, they might have their little jobs, but guess what? They go home to peace and quiet, man. They go home to beautiful homes, man, because... The women are in order, their food is cooked, their children in order. We'll go to work for 13, 14, 15, 16 hours a day, man. Jake's do this. Jake's go to two jobs, three jobs. Jake's do this. As a matter of fact, I'm working with a Jake. He's Brazilian right now. He, he's a janitor.